Well, hello, South Dakota. Greetings from Montana. I am honored to be here as neighbors, to be part of this great rally. And I'll say, let me start off by saying this. You have a great governor here in South Dakota named Christy Nome. I had a chance to serve with Christy back when she was in Washington. I knew there was something real special there. And people are moving to South Dakota, not just because of your great quality of life and pheasants, it's, it's also because of quality of leadership. But I, I got to tell you, when, when I fly back to D.C., I flew back home to Montana last night and then came over here this afternoon. In Washington, I have a small little apartment. I don't have a car back there. I can't stand traffic. I'm a Montana kid. And I walk to work every day. I've got about a five or six block walk to Capitol Hill. And it gives you time to think every morning. And I was thinking the other day, what will it be like in January of 2025? When, when, as I'm walking to work, my grandma always told me, count your blessings. I'm thankful for our four children, our five soon to be six grandchildren. But I gotta tell you, I'm going to be saying a thankful prayer and saying, thank God Joe Biden's no longer President of the United States. So before I got elected to Congress, I had a legitimate day job in business. I'm the son of a U.S. Marine from Montana. And I've, I've now been in Washington, hard to believe, 11 years. I will tell you something. The best four years of my time in Washington was when President Trump was in the Oval Office. Think about what happened in that short period of time. We cut taxes, one of the biggest tax cuts in our nation's history. We had a booming economy. President Trump restored sanity to the Supreme Court. <laughs> President Trump also signed into law the greatest conservation win in 50 years called the Great America Outdoors Act. That was signed by President Trump. We had low gas prices, lower cost groceries, a secure border back in those days. And we were respected on the world stage. Think about what President Trump did. He got the Abraham Accord signed, the most significant peace agreement in the Middle East in a generation. He moved, he moved the, the embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. But compare that for a moment to Joe Biden. Joe Biden's energy policies is to shut down Made in America oil as we're all staring at $4 plus gas, shutting down Made in America natural gas and I think their strategy is to shut down oil and gas and replace it with Chinese batteries. That's what they're doing. We've seen the highest inflation in 40 years. Interest rates that we've not seen at this level in a generation. The botched Afghanistan withdrawal. And then Here's another one that hits close to home. So the Chinese launched a spy balloon. And look, it came over Montana first, and it came over South Dakota, I know. It came right over our intercontinental ballistic missiles. Why didn't they shoot it down? I told the president, I said, you shoot that down, the worst thing that happened, we might hit a cow or a mule deer or an antelope. It was embarrassing. And it made the United States look weak weak on the world stage and look when you've got 
adversaries in places like China, North Korea, Iran, Russia. Look, they, they exploit weakness. In conclusion, one of the responsibilities I've been given in this election cycle is to win back the majority of the United States Senate and take the gavel out of Chuck Schumer's hands. Remember something, when President Trump is elected in November of 24, he, the first call he will make is to the United States Senate because he's got to move his cabinet officials through. And our founding fathers gave that responsibility to the United States Senate. Imagine for a moment we are not in majority control and he's calling Chuck Schumer. It'd be a disaster. So that's why we're working really hard to win the majority back. And I'll tell you, there's three states, three states will decide the majority. It's West Virginia, it's Montana, and it's Ohio. Those three states all have Democrats up in states where every single elected official in those three states are now Republicans. So, if you're a Democrat in that state and you're trying to run for re-election in the United States Senate, get ready because we are coming for you. We are. Now, I've got one final, final question I need to ask. There's a lot of polls going on out there. Some are fake polls, many are fake polls. But let me tell you, I gotta ask you all a question. If the election were held today between Joe Biden and Donald J. Trump, how many of you are voting for Donald J. Trump? Well, the president's smiling right now backstage. I know that for sure. Thank you. And I'll just say it. I'm looking forward to working together here to make America great again. Thank you and God bless.